Today we're watching a lover's quarrel gone awry, involving this young gentleman who, by the officer's own words, You fit the description, you got injuries on your neck, which means you got beat up by a chick. A young man who got beat up by a chick, and of course, the chick. I really do promise I ain't gonna spit on you, I'm sorry. This video is from a channel called Police Insider. I'm a few weeks late, but I've gotten several emails requesting we watch this one. And judging by the few short segments I've seen so far, I got the decanter out and the anal beads in because it's about to get sloppy. Let's get after it. On July 15th, 2022, officers responded to a 911 call about a domestic disturbance from a neighbor. They advised that a female was yelling and physically attacking a male. How's it going, man? Good. Hey. Were you just walking with the with the girl? Huh? Were you walking with the girl no. down Pitt Street or anything like that? Okay, we got a call. It's a guy possibly getting smacked around by a girl in a pink shirt. So we're just checking there. You're I good. Someone down there, but you saw somebody down there. Pink shirt. What's all the scratches on your neck, man? Right here. Yeah. 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 What's your? Do you have an ID on you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Dude's like, yeah, <laughs> you got me. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, I lied just a second ago there. It was me. I, I'm the one that got beat up. What's your name, man? I don't need to tell you. Yeah, mm -hmm. look, bro. I mean, it doesn't need to be complicated, man. Okay? I didn't break my laws. I didn't. I know, but I have a lawful reason to stop you. No, okay? Because we got dispatched. You matched the description of the guy that was getting beat up by a girl. Okay? You have injuries on your neck. Didn't have All to right? do him like that, bro. It does matter. Okay, good. You don't have an ID on you, man? See, he makes it sound so demeaning, right? He's like, oh, we got dispatched about a guy who got beat up by a girl, you know? Like, there's probably a reason why a lot of those things never actually go reported. <clears throat> Certainly, I don't think he ever would have called about something like that. It was some, like, neighbor or passerby that called because this was happening on a public roadway. Just an interesting dynamic when it's the dude that's the perceived victim to start. I have a lawful reason to stop out and talk to you, okay? So you have a lawful reason to identify yourself to me. If you, if you don't want to identify yourself to me, I'll take you to jail for concealing your identity. It's that simple. It's literally that simple. Now, I'm not sure of the particulars. I know that police can't just roll up onto a random stranger and demand for their identification, but because he was dispatched there because of a call and, you know, he matches the description, I guess it's required by law that you provide your name or something if you match the description of a potential suspect or person involved in a call, I guess. But the next several minutes, is just him arguing the officer not wanting to give them his name, which seems like a simple thing to do. If you really did nothing, just say your name. What's the big deal? Unless maybe you have a bunch of warrants out for your arrest. I can imagine that could get a little ugly. I don't want to be a victim. I don't want to press charges. I don't want to do anything. Do I mean, I don't understand why it's so hard to give you, to give me your name. If you don't want to do anything about this, we'll, I mean, I can go down there and try to figure it out. No listen listen giving... to me. Part of me feels bad for the guy, right? He's probably just so beaten down from being in an abusive relationship. He just wants to go home, put an ice pack on his neck, open a frosty Corona, enjoy a few minutes of the new Zelda before his girl gets back and shit spirals out of control again. And now he's being threatened with jail time if he doesn't say his name. Just say your name, bro. We're going to find out real soon. You're not the one that's the problem here. Just just say your name. Just say it. Okay? That that's where we're I'm laying it all out here for you, bro. I'm not being a, I'm trying not to be a dick. I'm trying not to be a douche. So, okay? I can take your name down. Okay? I can see if we have you in our system so that we can go from there. Figure out if you're associated that's with anybody it. else that we can go talk to, get the other side of the story. Just want to run your name. That point. Go from there. Okay? Very simple. What I'm telling you, I, I would prefer not to take you to jail because you're right. You haven't done anything wrong, okay? But at the moment, that we know. at the moment, you are committing a crime by not giving me your name and your date of birth. <laughs> I just don't want to get in trouble. Bro. I didn't do nothing. Okay. His brain was just working harder than a Chinese sweatshop gearing up for the new iPhone release, trying to figure out whether to drop his name right there. Uh, uh, don't. Anyways, to save us another two minutes, he continues to pontificate and barter with the police. They agree that if they can all go down together and talk to the chick, he will then give them their name at that point, so they go and do that. Once we get down there, once we're in the car, I'll tell you my name, we go down there, and we can talk to the person that's coming in the crowd. Okay, all right, let's go do that then. And here they go. <sighs> the 
so what's going on? I just had an argument. It's nothing serious. I'm sorry. It was Tiny little. My so I can give him my ID and everything. Okay, where's your ID? Uh, right here. There you go. It just expired. <laughs> That's me. That was my old address. I lived with my parents then. I just graduated high school about three years ago. So that's where I'm at now. I just came to visit my mom. She lives in the salon right here. Where? By subway. The salon. So I was just kind of helping. I'm leaving back to Albuquerque tomorrow. And I do have court cases. So what's your relationship with this guy? So far, she seems pretty level-headed, got a few pending court cases, according to her own words. Minor red flag there, but, uh, you know, nothing crazy. Let's keep it going. Uh, that's my boyfriend for about a year now. That's her bae. Okay. And so what's going on between you two? Just a verbal argument, but like I said, we're both at my mom's shop right now. It, it was nothing extravagant. Okay. It's more than a verbal argument because we had people calling in saying that a female Ooh, a was smirk on her face on the shirt of a male. Like that. And Ooh, they were me? screaming. So. I mean, you can check me, and you can go to the no, shop. He's and then... bleeding. You're bleeding. He's bleeding. You're bleeding. And what's going on with those tetas, by the way? Is that like war paint? You got on there? Is that a birthmark? We. He didn't do anything. Like that to me, if anything, was myself. And my nails. Look at my nails. Okay, right what there. happened? I scratch myself. I do get pretty crazy myself. <laughs> I put nothing on him. Exonerating her man, taking the blame, admitting she gets a bit crazy. <laughs> Down ass bitch alert. <laughs> oh, no, but seriously, it gets a lot worse. So what I know in need? my law enforcement and my dictionary and stuff, you guys can't charge me. I'm sorry, you know your law enforcement and your dictionary stuff? Therefore, they can't charge you with anything? Dictionary and stuff? What the fuck are you talking about, man? Go on. In your what? Law enforcement? In her dictionary I'm stuff. I'm saying my, my, like, my rights. Rights, there they are. And I'm sitting here telling you right now, like, I'm fine. He's fine. You have an address? You have my ID. I can give you my social security right now. I have no problem with that, sir. Okay. It's just, I don't want no problems. This is my man. We had an argument. That's it. Sorry. Okay. Well, but I have a problem when I know that people job, have a... Uh, but it's also one Okay. Do you ever have another problem? In the trolley of fake niceties is starting to fly off the rails, as we've seen too many times before. When the dimples and quirky smile don't immediately get you out of trouble, things can deteriorate rather quickly. And they do. When someone batters another person in a domestic did violence... Did see that or did they just hear us arguing? Because I yell. I yell like a mother. <laughs> I bet you do. I don't mind. It's not even him half the time. It's me. Okay. I will completely say that. I'll go to jail right now for that. Oh, will you? That's me. <laughs> I love it. The cop's like, bet, let's do it. <laughs> Turns her around, slaps the cuff on her, calls her bluff immediately. And I'm calling it a bluff because she does not go easily. You're a bald ass Oh, boy. You. Timber! Oh, fuck me. The trolley has derailed. The niceties have gone. Let the devil inside that you've been hiding for the last five minutes reveal itself. Come out in Jesus' name. There it is. Respectfully, don't touch my girl. Respectfully, don't touch her like that. Tries to kick me. Whoa! Whoa! Got him, dude. She got him with like that reach around, like supinated heel kick to the face over the top, dude. What a sports nut, huh? Oh boy. 
What a sports nut, huh? Sometimes I say things and I'm like, where did that come from? Like, oh, it's because I watched Ace Ventura 235,000 times when I was a teenager. Would you like a cookie, son? All right. Broke the glasses. She just broke my glasses. And the supinated over the back heel kick. Oh, Chill. another one. Go, Jesus. Am I getting arrested? No, no, no. Oh, come on. Well, you can kick me, can't Really? Really? Telling this girl to calm down. Apparently that didn't work in their fight either. I got you kicked me in the face. Hey, stop. you so much of Stop. Stop. I hope she's gonna buy me some new glasses. Hang on, let me go get my shots. Not likely. Oh no, dude. Man, you know it's getting spicy when they bring the ankle cuffs out. You know, it's not enough to just subdue your hands. Gotta. Got to subdue those ankles, too, so no, there's no more supinated heel kicks to the nose. Mrs. I'll go to jail right now. On God. Yeah, I'm sure you will. So the next minute or two was mostly bleeps and a scream here and there, so we're going to kind of scrub through it a little bit. Hey, will you get your... Do you have a spit hood, Jake? Oh, not the spit hood. A spit hood? This, this is the second broad in a month that's got a spit hood, dude. What is with these girls? Shut the f up. She didn't even love your What? She cheats on you every day, bro. Get that You're a fine ass man that makes a good income. I don't even have a wife. <laughs> So she'd have a hard time cheating on me. Dude's like, what are you talking about? My wife cheats on me? I don't even have a girlfriend. Is this bitch okay? You know, I just put the spit hood on her. Oh, I get ankle cuffs, handcuffs, spit hood. Yes, ma'am. Go tell my what? mom. What the f now for the morning job. Okay. Uh, the I'm getting off the floor. Go tell her. Turn this way. Go tell her. Turn this way. Go tell her. Go on your side. Go tell her. Hey. Go tell my mom I'm going to jail. Okay, ah! we, we will. No. Fly! Somebody swat the fly! Get the fly off his arm! Oh, no, do it first. No, it's going to bite her. Mom, no. she's going to jail. Go tell her. Okay, come on. Oh. Hate flies. All right. I'm with you, bro. Sit down. Uh -uh. Sit down. So no one's going to know I'm going to jail, huh? Uh -uh. She's got a good horse kick. Which side, Jake? She's got a good horse kick. That that was a horse kick. I guess that's exactly what that is. I call it an over the back reverse supinated kick. A little wordy, bit of a word salad. Probably horse kicks a better way to describe that. Quick assessment here. I've been arrested once before. I'm sure many of you watching this have been arrested. If you get arrested, it's one thing. But if you get arrested and you're in ankle cuffs, handcuffs, and a spit hood before you even get in the cruiser, that's a whole nother level of brain worms, dude. <laughs> Have a seat. Get your no! No! Another goat scream. Come on, sit up in there. Yeah, there you go. Your wife cheats on you three times a day, you dirty ass. <laughs> what is it? Your wife cheats on you three times a day? What is this line of insults? Like, dude, she's like, she, he does, man doesn't have a wife. What are we talking about? Come up with some better material at least. I guess when you get the spit hut on, you get a little disoriented and like you start reaching a little bit and all your best material might get suppressed because you're under pressure. So I give her credit for that one. It's it's tough to perform in the back of a squad car double cuffed with a spit hood. So I don't expect her best material here, but the wife bit's just not hitting for me. <laughs> Sorry. <that's> <laughs> Do you have his info? No, he's not coming back. Mother of mercy. He's lying. Eventually, the male was identified 
cleared and released from the scene. Atta boy! Go get him. I'm never gonna, you know, you can't absolve this man of any sins. We don't know the story. We don't know the context, but he certainly knew how to handle himself better when it came to interacting with law enforcement. Maybe he's reciprocated in the past or it very well could be. He's just in this relationship of abuse, physical on her part. Uh, and he's just in it. I mean, I know a lot of dudes that have been in situations like this and stay in situations like this because you think things will change or things will get better. Uh, but sometimes you just have to turn and run hard and fast in the opposite direction. Um, I even had a similar experience like this in my life with an ex-partner. Maybe not to this extent, but it took me years before I finally strapped on the cleats uh, and started to run. <laughs> Never looked back. Why am I trying to be difficult? Alright, Mr. Rodriguez. Okay, we're gonna get you out of the wheelchair. Go ahead and stand up. I'm fing crippled, bro. I know. I'm, I'm 21 years old. I'm crippled. I know. I'm getting you out of the wheelchair. Stand up. What am I in the wheelchair for? Because it was the only chair they had. Stand up. <laughs> this bit hood. This bit hood and her delivering these bits is just too much. That's so good. One more time, please. Oh, I'm fing crippled. I know. I'm getting you out of the wheelchair. Stand up. Oh, I'm sorry. Simple misunderstanding there. See, we just assumed the frontal lobe of your brain was crippled based on, well, your behavior and, well, you're in a spit hood, so feels like the wheelchair should be the least of your worries at this point. This is the only chair they had. Stand up. Okay, if I take that spit hood off, are you gonna spit on me? I'm not gonna spit on you. Oh, you were spitting. Yeah, I was. Okay. I'm gonna help you out. Let you use the bathroom, okay? Yeah, I was. I'm gonna spit on you. A bit of self-reflection. Thomas. Yes. I really do promise I ain't gonna spit on you. I'm sorry. Nothing's over here. Come over here. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I promise I won't spit on you. Like, where did that just come from? This is so similar to another chick we saw recently in a body cam video a few weeks ago that drove through the turkey trot. In the sense that their ability to just flip a switch and go from chaotic evil to respectful good. Fuck! Sucker. That's not gonna be good. Could have been worse. <clears throat> As I was saying, their ability to just flip a switch and go from chaotic evil to respectful good, just like that, it's remarkable. From spit hood to goody good in the blink of an eye. And then to go back and forth and back and forth like that, it's like my brain would shit its pants. I can't even imagine how that's possible. And rest assured, she flips back to chaotic evil in a few moments. <laughs> ankle one. Justice. Been on days way too long. I'm ready to go back to nights. Yeah, like that. <laughs> you have a summer? I don't. Uh, any kids? No. No. Why? What are you doing? Can't stay in a relationship long enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is she is she flirting now? What is happening? Like, this is frightening. She's like a succubus that will lure you in with some genial laughter and a little small talk. Oh, kids, girl, no. Then she'll suck the soul out of your body through your prolapsed cornhole. This part here was the scariest moment to me out of the whole thing so far. I don't have one. I don't smoke. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be up here a while. All right. Have a seat. It's like a very. Mom, I don't want to make my mom feel weird. Okay. I'm saying she's supposed to cut my hair and my boyfriend's hair. She's a barber. Mm -hmm. You are more than welcome to stop by, walk in, anything you want. She already told me. Whoa, hold up! Free haircut? Big, you should have said that 25 minutes ago. Come over here. Get out of here, you little devil. She gonna give you the meanest fade this side of the Mississippi. You just need to let me out of these cuffs so I can ski daddle on out of here. How's that sound? Okay. So, come back. Um, I'm just gonna walk over there and see what the fuck they're doing. You're gonna have a seat. Can you walk with me? You're gonna can't go over sit there. back down. You can't? No. Nope. Or you just don't want to? We can't. You're in custody. I have to have it here. I have to take you to jail. Well, we have to get this done first. We can get that done first. We gotta, clean, do we gotta clean your knee up. We gotta do the x-ray. touch my knee until my mama knows where the f 
Matt. Okay. And if you want to tell them that, I, that's fine. I ain't gonna lie, I'm f Southwestern. Okay. My mama knows everything. I'm sorry. Okay. She gonna know what f I'm at. Alright. Once we get I to know. the jail. Mama's jail. gonna find out. So you gotta have a I seat. Know. I'm a crooked Medical team is there. They patch your knee up. Okay, here we go. So I can't even go to my mom's shop right now. I don't know. Oh ma'am, I apologize, but I can't make it in the shop. Okay. 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 So what the f I just sit here and say what? No, we're going to the jail. Yeah, so what the f do I say? Hey, I'm in jail because I didn't have a f***ing ID. Nope. What the f*** do you want me to say, bro? What do you want me to say? What are you supposed to say? Oh, I don't know. You could start by saying, Hey, Mom, I'm on my way to jail right now because I beat the piss out of my boyfriend, assaulted an officer, resisted arrest, and behaved so dementedly that they put a spit hood on me. I would say I'm sorry, but I'm really not. I just want to let you know this since you typically whip my ass when I don't check in every 20 minutes, which is honestly probably a big part of the reason why I have no emotional control and get into situations like this to begin with. Love you. Click. That's how I would envision the call going, but you don't have the chance to make that call because you still, you, yeah, you gotta go to the jail. What do you want me to say? How much you want me to pay you? How much? <laughs> What's worth it for you? What? <laughs> how much you got, bitch? Pretty hard. <laughs> we talking like six figgies or? Obviously, it doesn't matter how much I'm in because I didn't do nothing. And I'm in the f of a back cop car. And I did nothing to you. Can you show me the proof where I did something to you? Is she getting like drunker oh, as time saying, goes on? It's very confusing. Why'd you arrest me? Like they don't talk, the, a few of the videos we've seen, they haven't talked about any inebriation or intoxication. It feels like she's banged up on something, maybe a little bit drunk, maybe some pills, I don't know, but just the way she's talking. She's coherent, obviously, but just the way she's putting some words together and the erratic behavior, it feels like there's some some toxicology report that might have to do with, with the behavior. Not that that's ever an excuse, they just never say. Why am I in the back of a car right now? Just transport. Okay, but why? Where, where's the proof and the legalization? Where? Where? What? Why are you arresting me in New Mexico State? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Where, where's the film and where's the video? Dude, he's just driving you to the okay, jail. So he has nothing that? to do the situation. Just leave him alone, please, God. So why am I getting taken right now? They'll tell you when you get to jail. I'm gonna go, but y'all need me proof. <laughs> proof of what, dude? Everything that just happened was witnessed by the officers on body cam that we're watching now. So even if there's no proof of the physical assault on your boyfriend, which is obviously not hard to believe after the way you've behaved, you've broken about two, three, maybe four other laws since that point, so. Does that make any sense to you? Does that make And this is the that busted me out in the mouth, but y'all are taking his side. Oh. And he's from Peckles. Off the calls back. He's from Petco. Oh, she's talking shit about her boyfriend that he hits her back. Y'all gonna take his side? A man's side that can beat the f out of me in 2.5 seconds, which he has. Why do you think he has so many court cases? Y'all don't care though, right? As long as y'all got somebody. As long as y'all did something that day. Y'all don't give a f yeah, put on your glasses. Shut the f up. <laughs> Poor officer. There we go. Now we're banging the <clears throat> now we're banging the glass. Good. I'm at, like what is that? What do you suppose that's meant to accomplish? Like I t I typically like to think that before I do something, before I take action, I think, is this gonna get me to the goal I'm trying to achieve? And how where is the circuitry in her brain that thinks if I take these handcuffs and smash the divider glass, this is going to help the situation I'm in. That would take logic and reason though, which seem to be in short supply in these videos. So I don't know why I even bother asking myself these questions. With me, I'm a 
with you, bro. You don't want to. You want to act silent? You want to act like you can't talk to me? You can talk to me like a normal person, but you choose not to. So I'm gonna not talk to you. You gonna act silent? You not gonna talk to me? You gonna give me the silent treatment? Nah, it ain't like that. I'm gonna, so guess what? I'm not gonna talk to you now. Officer's like, thank you, Jesus. That's what I've been trying to do this whole time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God. Please, God, just shut your mouth. You wanna be a dumb I'm gonna be a dumb Oh, you been a dumb fuck. There you go, there you go. There you go, you're free, you're free to go now. The banging worked. Nice job, well I done. Do talk to me, but you don't. Oh my god. Why the f am I the one getting She's arrested? definitely drunk. Like I man, this behavior is this behavior is so congruent with females that I've known in my past. It's uh it's striking, it's striking, honestly. So it you know, it alcohol affects everyone differently, but there are certain personality types where like she could be a sweetheart, right? Like you've seen she turned it on for a few short minutes through the duration of this video, like the small talk with the dude or whatever. But then the real, the real pain and anguish and you know trauma of her life came out, and I think a lot of times it's from booze. And I'm not saying that that's an excuse, but a lot of times booze does exacerbate these types of behaviors and emotions from people like this. And when I say people like this, I don't know what that means. Just maybe women that I've known in the past with a propensity for kind of violent, aggressive behavior when they get drunk, which is not everybody, um, but clearly it's this one. But you have so many complaints on all everybody else, but me, right? Obviously, you're a new cop, aren't you? New here, yeah. You ain't from here. I am not. Okay, then. Thank you. You ain't from here, then. There you go. I'll be out here in a second without your help. Bye. You got that? You got, you got that weapon? Like, she seems so much more drunk now than at the beginning of the video, which makes it so, I'm not, very confusing. Maybe she had just like rifled a few shots before the cops showed up and they're just starting to digest. I, I can't figure it out. Like when they had first approached her at the very beginning, she was keeping it together a little bit better than she is now, which you would think in the course of an hour, and it's probably been a couple hours at this point, maybe one to two hours, it would have helped her situation, but I, I got nothing. Yeah. Shut the f up. Or maybe she's not drunk. We'll you never know. Traffic. Your traffic, you stupid. You don't even know the. Oh, here we go. This is when. This is when it gets. I didn't do s*** to you. I didn't do s*** to you. You can't get the f*** out like a normal person. I know drug dealer, I know f***ing junkie, I'm dating a drug dealer, but I ain't no f***ing drug dealer. I'm dating a drug dealer, but I ain't no drug dealer. I mean, there's been a lot of accusations being sent towards the man who was uh, released. And obviously, you can't get people in trouble based on word of mouth from an intoxicated psychotic girl, but uh, it's not about him right now anyways, it's about you. And Please you're God, not the passing lady. the test. Not if you're kicking the door. I ain't act like a lady, whatever you are, she can't the back of the car. Step over this way. Act like a lady, any other way. Step over this way. Here, look. <laughs> that dude's face just described the entire video right there. Okay, well then call my lawyer. What phone number did you just call? Call my lawyer. We'll put you on the phone when I start doing You don't have a lawyer. God, One will be I want appointed I want to you though, don't worry. The female was charged with criminal damage to property, assault upon a peace officer, battery upon a peace officer, resisting arrest, mm. and domestic battery. Quite a rap sheet there. Uh, not to say it wasn't deserved. I think this comment really sums the whole thing up. It says, this level of sheer unpleasantness from this woman is astounding. My mind is blown that a human can act this way without even a hint of shame. Well, if you own a phone and you've been around for the last decade, you know that shame 
is in short supply, and I'd like to bring it back. I think shame, I'd like to make shame popular again. Not in a negative way, I just, in a way that makes people stop acting like complete imbecilic morons and doing crazy dumb shit, but you know what? Then I'd have nothing to watch. <laughs> I don't have many words of wisdom here. This one was pretty self-explanatory. I appreciate you guys being here, as always. You know I don't take your time for granted. And if you could do me a favor, stand up out of your chair and hip thrust that motherfucking like button because I spilled whiskey on my keyboard and it's still working. That's a big fat Leon Lush W. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace.